Look at my eyes, Seth. <laughs> Tell yes. me you see a warrior. Um, in the making. In the making, perhaps. <laughs> but I also see the fierce determination of a youth who's never seen failure. <laughs> Not like I have. My whole life has been a cavalry of failures. I failed to graduate the Knight Academy. I failed to protect the people of Renee's. Narcolepsy. I failed to keep <laughs> the bloodlust from rising in Erica's soul. I sought there long ago, and yet was unable to quell it, and now she has become a force for vengeance. Still now, I hear her voice <laughs> haunting me. <laughs> Welcome back to Last Play, <laughs> and that was a graphical glitch, I think. Um, oh, what a fool I've been. I came all this way to, go to like, goggle at Ephraim's abs, and I just got captured. I just to goggle at them? What's the word? Oggle. 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 Oggle's the word you Oggle at Ephraim's <laughs> abs. Also, Google them. I'm just going to Google them later. You don't ogle at them. You just ogle them. I ogle them, <laughs> and then I also Google them. <laughs> <laughs> so welcome to Last Play. I recently went into the options menu and actually found options to improve the play experience. So yeah, you it will be a little bit- found options in the options menu? Right? Wow. So, wow. What, oh, AS. What is AS? AS. Um, as shit. It's it's one letter, <laughs> it's just ass. Attack special? See, see oh. Ross has a level 9 ass, but that knight only has a level 1 ass. He doesn't do leg yeah, day, as you can tell. Her ass game is not strong. Yeah. Well, look at the, he looks like he skipped leg day, like, majorly, so yeah. he shouldn't have a lot of ass game. Yeah. Like, he literally, yeah. they're like, how are we going to put your breastplate on? And they're like, well, we'll literally have to make it in the shape of a triangle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I gotta check people's weapons so that we don't have a repeat of the horse slayer incident. <laughs> uh, yeah, as, as, we, as we determined earlier, Ross does not, in fact, skip leg day. Yes, no. we had a long no, talk no. about this. Rock, Ross does not skip any day. <laughs> Ross is lift, lifting at the gym every day. Mm -hmm. He lifts and now. Every day and every other day. Oh, and boy. And every other day. <laughs> twice, oh. twice on Tuesdays. <laughs> yeah, twice on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Yeah. <laughs> and Saturdays. Uh, yeah. That's hardcore. So yeah, welcome to moving people forward, Blay. You know what would be really interesting? Well, it wouldn't be, it, it, like, it wouldn't kind of work with Fire Why Emblem? did you go for Ross? Ross will destroy your life. <laughs> wow, oh, we're no. getting wrecked. Huh? Yeah, still okay. fast? Still, still <laughs> didn't straight up die. Okay. Who's made up die? He's like, hmm, I'm not gonna straight up die. Oh no, Ross, you're slightly in danger. He, like, doesn't even blink. <laughs> That wasn't a Beyblade! I'm immune to all non-Beyblade forms of attack! <laughs> Hit me right in the nipple! My most you defensible location! You with tiny object? <laughs> My chest plate just repel it. <laughs> Where did the accent come from and who wins it exactly? <laughs> <laughs> it's my brief impression of Ross. I was like, it's vaguely European, but also uh, it sounds like Papa Doug McKenzie. You, you know? <laughs> I'm, <laughs> as a proud Canadian, <laughs> I am allowed to use my proudly Canadian accent at will. Your cultural references. My cultural Yeah, yeah Gilliam, I'm gonna walk up, stab you. I didn't see that he was supposed to get two attacks there. Hmm. A. Oh, is that Whoa. yes, the attack speed? Don't so say I just have to A know. like that. The Five Americans will think you're serious. Oh yeah, that is attack speed. <laughs> Because oh. your, your, your oh, weapon hate... selection adjusts I for that. I seriously hate Oh, on so the steel axe is at minus five. Yeah, the steel, steel sword. Okay, so I'm going to take out the options like, for that because Canadian I need to... Speech. Like, we say on know. TV shows... I don't want to have to do math to see if I get the double attack. like, every Wolverton. two seconds. Yeah, welcome to fiddling with the options play. So, yeah, Tyler, you're talking over real discussion over here. Nice. It's all good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sorry for the viewers back home. That might have been very confusing yeah. to listen to. Yeah. Um... <laughs> See? As opposed to the viewers that aren't at home. The viewers that are at work. <laughs> yeah. Continue to watch you guys? at work. Get paid. Not watch Fire Emblem. Get paid. Watch Fire Emblem. You're living your best life. The only Last problem. Play. Last play is filmed in front of a live studio audience. <laughs> Very small. Clap, clap, and clap. it includes the cast. Sometimes there is an audience. Yeah. Yes. Mostly bunnies. My, yeah, bunnies and... Uh, when Dakota's partner comes and hangs out and says nothing the whole time we're recording. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The duct tape's pretty good for that, but... Um... <laughs> so further yeah. on Canadian accents, okay. I'd, um... 
like to note that I actually really enjoy the stereotypes. It does occasionally I hate it. get into trouble. I hate it so much. But I definitely don't deny when they're like, you say a boot, I'm like, a boot man, boot. You just like to screw with them? And yeah, so I've definitely had friends who are American and um, I have definitely kind of continued the accent usage. And when they're like, oh man, you're vacation home. I'm like, yeah, I have an igloo that I like to go up to up north and oh my, God. my igloo, it's got everything you need, man. I've got a bar outside, I've carved it out of snow. It keeps the beer cold, keeps yeah. the beer real cold. Um, and I definitely will use the A um, and Tim Hortons references and Canadian Tire. And if oh, there's a Canadian, Canadian alternative, tire. if there's a Canadian alternative to something American, like I might, yeah, I might want to go to the Safeway, but I could go Make to the nice real house. Canadian superstore. Heck yeah! <laughs> I might want to go to the Walmart, but I could go to Canadian Tire. <laughs> I dodged the sleep by moving oh, slightly yeah. to the left. <laughs> you never see it coming. So I just perpetuate this accent. You mean preparing for exams. <laughs> you mean perpetuate? Perpetuate this accent. There you go. <laughs> I'm having trouble speaking today. It's okay, I'm here to help you. Perpetuate, not perpetrate. Words are hard. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, like, putting stuff outside to keep it cold is a quintessentially Canadian thing. Like, we yeah, have we the do actually do that. We have the outdoor freezer for six months of the year. Why yeah. not yeah. use it? We do legitimately do that. But you, you just pop your beer outside the back door, put it in the snow. Yeah, just put it in it's the, gonna be cold. Put it on the porch, it'll be cold in five minutes. You're in a hot tub, you're drinking some beer, just put that in the snow for a couple you minutes. You wanna have some frozen scotch? It's minus 35 out there. I'm pretty sure alcohol freezes in those conditions. Yeah, pretty sure. Depends on the content, I think. Yeah. Like, I've definitely been able to freeze a beer outside, but I've had trouble freezing, like, vodka. really heavy, yeah, alcohol content. Like, a, a bottle of gin is not the easiest thing to freeze outside. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but Corona will freeze, like, in a heartbeat. And the thing, speaking of cold weather, the thing that I like to tell um, Americans when I'm talking about, like, what the temperature's like here and stuff, what our winters are like, um, I'm like, okay, okay, so as a reference point, since you use Fahrenheit... Oh yes, this is good. Minus 40 Fahrenheit and minus 40 Celsius are the same thing. So, like, I'm like, just so you know, like, in the winter, minus 40 is not every day, like, where I live. In some parts of Canada, yeah, that's pretty much every day. But, like, I was like, that's not, like, an everyday occurrence, but, like, it's not unusual. Like... We would complain, but we wouldn't bat an eye over, oh, it's minus 40 today. See, what I like to do, see, you sound really nice about it. <laughs> see, what I like to do is just delve into the deep end. Um, see, I don't lie to them. No, no, I'm, I'm not like... lying. There's no lying. I will just go with, so, like, as an example, like, a record-breaking low temperature where I live. And they're like, yeah, like, what's the low, like, what's the coldest it's ever been? And I'm like, so, the record is minus 56. And yeah. they're like... Minus 56? Actually, minus 56 or oh, wind chill? No, it's actually Actual minus, minus 56. 56. Oh my god. Um, and they're like, oh my god, but that's like Celsius, so that's like 30 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm like, no, 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 no. no. That's Fahrenheit. It's minus 56 Fahrenheit is the record. Yeah. Which is like minus 50-ish Celsius, because it's just yeah. after the cross yeah. point. So it sounds worse than Fahrenheit. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, they're like, oh, that must be Celsius. It can't be that cold. And I'm like, that like, is the no, record breaking cold. temperature. And it's not like every day or anything, that's the record. But I just like to delve into the deep end, like how cold can it get? Minus 56 Fahrenheit. I just wish, I wish it, we, our winters, like, my ideal winter is like if we lived in, say, like New York, like they get snow, um, and they think it's cold, but relative to what we're used to, it's not cold at all. It's just like, it's snow, it's kinda chilly, that like, you know, like, I don't like it to get past minus 15. Like, once it's past that, I'm complaining. But, other, like, if it's not super ridiculously cold, I don't mind winter. I don't mind the snow. It's just, like, especially here, it's such a dry cold. I hate the wind. The wind is what makes me not ever want to go See, outside See, I like the ever. cold, because, like, with the cold, you can drink more. <laughs> this staff guy I knows mean, who yeah, the threat is. yeah, you got your beer jacket on. <laughs> Woo! Sparkles! Not today! Ha! Fairy. I've seen them once before! I know I just step to the left when the lights start rising about around me. I haven't slept in years. There's no time for that. That's what happens every time. I gotta go for leg day. And leg night. And leg mid-afternoon. It's just legs all around. 
Sometimes, of course, um, per like, at, uh, using the, whatever word you used earlier, um, perpetuating stereotypes yeah. gets me into trouble when um, my friends are like, Hey, I'm going oh, to your Canada! Raid, your raid friend? Yeah, yeah. Um, because I've, I've been like, this is exactly how Canada's like, and then they're like, Oh my god. Canada, eh? And I'm like, oh, oh god. god. Oh god, why did oh. I do this to myself? Oh god, why did I do this to myself? And they're like, so you went to Timmy Ho's, eh? And I'm like, oh no! Timmy Ho's. Timmy oh. Ho's, eh? Timmy Ho's. Timmy Ho's A. And Timmy like, Ho's A, as opposed oh to Timmy Ho's B. God. Yeah, and then I'm like, oh god, oh god, why did I do this to myself? And then no. they're like, A, and I'm like, oh god, and they're like, so, so how's your igloo working out? And I'm like, I, oh, no, oh no, I I've done this, this myself. myself. Oh god, I'm cringing. Um, so sometimes. It doesn't work out, and and usually like it's not too bad. It's usually when I introduce them to like Canadian sketch comedy that is very very Canadian um, based, um, like um, Letter Kenny. More like I am Mike from Canmore. Oh. And then they're like, that's the quintessential Canadian accent. And I'm like, yes it is. And then they're like, I'm gonna do a Canadian accent impression. I'm like, oh, oh god. god. That's a terrible example of an accent. And it's, especially with Canmore, like the yeah. other people in Canmore, so like. <laughs> it's like Hickstown, Canadianville. You may accent. not know anything about Canada, Hickstown, but you do know Alberta. what people from Canmore sound like. <laughs> 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 oh, 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 Canmore's in Alberta still, isn't it? Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah, okay, I didn't Born know. Small town. Small town. Small town. Um. No, it's not that far from Cause here. Because I, I don't know exactly where it is. But like, like, you could I, drive there in a couple hours. It's yeah. Not, it's not a big deal. Yeah. Like, it, it's, I think, an hour from Calgary. Oh, okay. Yeah. It was not too bad. Like, tour in between Calgary and Edmonton? Yeah, it's not, oh, okay. it's not like, I'm going to go to sleep, driving all day. little baby! <laughs> go to sleep! <laughs> No! Uh, Sleeping is for the week! Yeah, this would be like a few hours. I use like, this as a chance to work in my interpretive dance! Comparatively, but it's not <laughs> like driving across oh, the country. Oh, he's out. Good. Yeah, like, in, in Alberta, people pretty much, more or less, accent-wise, sound the same. Like, like it's us. Not, like, it's not like you would hear someone and you're like, Whoa, you're from yeah, Calgary. Yeah. Like, Just enough. That's, yeah, like, this. it's pretty much universal. Yeah. Well, really, across, like, the prairies and, like, BC, it's like, People sound the same. Yeah, it's like your accent doesn't. It's not until you get to like Ontario, and and oh west. yeah, eh? Ontario and west. west. No, east. Let me tell you, east. The, the great Canadian. You winter. start to hear the accent. Oh yeah, you start you start getting boots. Oh, he's got a door key. Nice. And um, like, no one says a boot though. Give the door key to okay, the guy I standing know, directly. I, ooh, I know voice where layer. they okay. hear it from. Okay, so my family on my mom's side is from Newfoundland. Oh yeah, We're that's not that's not actually the same. saying a boot. Okay, Ross, just kill what they are right saying is like, I'm gonna do it slowly. Yeah. So like, the sound that they're doing is like about. It like really does do that boot, but they don't just say a boot. It's like it's a diphthong. So like, diphthong. I, that is the best word. It's a diphthong. It's a di okay, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm a, a singer. I know these terms. Okay. As a linguist, I also know this term. Um, it's my new popsicle brand. Oh diphthong. Pretty cunning. Uh, a diphthong is when you, you blend me. two sounds. No, a diphthong is when you go skinny dipping in the pool. Yeah, no, no a wear a thong. <laughs> no, oh. that's what a diphthong is. <laughs> and next time on Last Play, we argue about what diphthongs are. <laughs> oh, I don't think it's. I know my diphthongs. I know my diphthongs. I do know my diphthongs. When I see them. <laughs> Take a dip in the pool, wearing a thong. It's all good. See, it's a self explanatory. Term. No, I hate you. Good. <laughs> Interpretation of diphthongs is dip wrong. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs>